Good morning, goalies. Hope you are well. It's Martin Brennan here from DG UK. Uh, just on my way to Boreham Wood. Got training this morning. Uh, it's Friday morning and it's been an extremely rainy week. Uh, Monday night was um, a muddy one on the grass. Monday night centre down in uh, Ilford. That was a real uh, that was a real muddy evening. And then um, yeah, Wednesday the Hartford group was okay. In all fairness. Uh, on Wednesday down, uh, over at Hartford but then the evening session with the seniors was chaos it was it absolutely smashed it down um, to the point where I actually went on Thursday to go and buy a which I get absolutely bad for by the way from family and others um, to buy a pair of wet bottoms uh, a wet proof bottoms which look and feel terrible but um, they keep me warm and uh, when I was younger I used to hear lots and lots of older generations say well don't care as long as it keeps me warm and I'm thinking yeah but they look terrible they look terrible but guess what they keep me warm so I couldn't care less um, just see my little bottle here I want to share my challenge that I'm doing at the minute and to be fair all four of us are doing it in the family trying to drink um, three to four litres a day there's a litre it's a massive bottle this one and we're trying to drink uh, yeah, around three to four um, litres of water a day. I cheat the system slightly because I put a little bit of Ribena in the top, uh, no added sugar, uh, but it's still, it's much, much better than drinking half a cup of water per day. Um, just trying to eat a little bit less. So trying to fill myself up, not feel as tired. Um, so yeah, we're... Uh, improving us as people hopefully but um but yeah just wanted to share uh, a few things with you we've been uh, the topic of the week this week has been head tennis and it surprised a few and i'll be honest there's a couple of you know and then a couple of young you know the youngest groups um you know it's been it's been a little bit of a challenge because it's uh you know the eyeball uh, coordination is not quite there yet and um you know, and working within a team, you know, the seven, eight-year-olds, for example, it is it is a bit of a challenge. But saying that, the slightly older ones have adapted really, really well to it. Uh, the senior group took a bit of time. Um, we actually set up the, the head tennis net on Wednesday night. And, yeah, we set it up and we started off, and it was quite slow to start with, if I'm honest. It was quite slow. And the reason I felt it was slow is we just, some of the lads were, the goalies were just making silly decisions, you know? Like the ball will be flying out and then go and chest it. And you're like, come on, look, tactically, this is a tactical decision now. The ball's flying out. For example, someone's had a shot and the ball's going wide. So if, for example, your team are 1-0 up, why not kill a little bit of time? Sorry, I'm hiccuping here. Why not kill a little bit of time and let the ball go out and then go and chase the ball extremely slowly? Um, Tom, the head tennis just brings so many uh, so many advantages you know working on one touch working on two touch working on adjusting your feet understanding the way the ball bounces on grass on astro on wet surface on dry surface on snowy surface on rainy surface um, in a blizzard because that's what it was Wednesday night uh, it was it was I would call it a blizzard at one point it was about a 15 minute spell where just barely see anything it was windy it was raining it was pouring down so but head tennis just for me can bring so many things you may have seen I've put posted out something that if you're on your own there's still something that you can that you can do and what that thing is for you to do is find a wall and stick a little square um, you know say a yard two yards away from the wall and you hit the ball against the wall but you've got to aim the ball to land back in the square again, and then you either hit it one touch again, or you go two touch, take a touch, and then go again. So there's something that you can 100% um, work on. The way the game has evolved immensely, I must say this, immensely is that the goalkeeper needs to be able to deal with the ball at his feet, or her feet, um, or their feet, as I see on... Uh, Good Morning Britain the other day where it's a uh, this family have not named their child a boy or a girl they're a, they're a they 
and they're going to make their decision. Um, listen, I'll be honest. I, 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 I try to. I'll try to not put my opinion on everything. But come on, you're either born a boy or a girl, right? It's nuts. But anyway, um, that's another. That's another video completely. Um, so. Head tennis is just such a good way for you guys to be able to just really educate yourself on how to cope with the ball coming back, the, the horror bobbly ball. Um, everyone moans about it, but at some point someone's had a horrendous back pass that they've had to deal with. We all moan about it, but guess what? The truth is that's what's happening, and it's coming back, and it's coming back at your neck. So somehow you've got to deal with it, and you've got to cope with it. So... So yeah, get yourself out there. Challenge yourself to doing some. Um, just challenge yourself to doing some uh, some touch work. I think it is important. I think you can learn so much from it. I need to speed up because I'm not going to get in this lane otherwise. Lovely. And if you've got someone that you can do it with, brilliant. If you've got four, five, six people you can do it, with, even better. Okay, because what the what the groups what the group brings then is that camaraderie, the banter, the fun, the competitiveness. Um, yeah, if you can get some people to do it with you, then that's great. I know I know, my son Alfie in the minute seems to be obsessed with it and he's setting it up at school and probably more trouble than he's going to get in. Um, but yeah, he set it up at school and he's, uh, he's got loads of them doing it at the minute. So he seems to be obsessed with it, maybe because it is topic of the week. I don't know. But... Um, but but yeah, let's um, let's keep working on that, uh, uh, that 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 touch work and make sure that you're using the inside of your foot, the outside of your foot, your sole of your foot, the the laces. Just learn to use all parts of it, and then when you get when you start getting really really comfortable, like the tennis players, they'll put a little bit of uh, side spin on the ball. You can do that with your foot. You can push the sides of the balls, and you can push the side of the ball. So the ball does have a little bit of swing on it and a little bit of um, swerve on it, and it make it difficult. It'll make it even harder for your opponent if you're playing against your opponent. So to learn how to deal with the ball at your feet is is absolutely vital now as a goalkeeper. Um, and if you are 78 years of age, listen to this. Uh, listening to this, uh, first question is why, and secondly, um, they may not understand it because they weren't brought up with the, the back pass rule. So. We all know now that it's, it's, it's a massive, massive role and a massive part of it. So, um, so yeah. How much time, to finish this off, can you invest? How much time can you invest in your feet on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? How much time can you invest in? So if I was going to set someone a task that needed to work with their feet, I would challenge them to twice a week, can they spend six to ten minutes um, once a day for two times a week um, to basically work on that game on your own or work on that game with somebody else all right so there's a there's a talent there's a challenge for you invest in time into uh, your touch work all right but good I'm now gonna um, I'm actually going to sneakily get a little bit of, bit of a little bit of rubbish at the club. Uh, don't tell the owner. Um, in his skip, I've got a box in the car. Needs to just get rid of. So hopefully he's not around, so I can quickly put it in the skip. Uh, if he is, then obviously I won't be doing that. And um, hopefully I don't get in trouble. And I will uh, have a fantastic weekend. Good luck with the matches at the weekend. And uh, yeah, make sure again from the last one. If it is silly, silly, windy, just keep your decision-making process as simple as possible. Okay. Remember, your role is to keep the ball out of the net. And if it means you making a decision that you're going to stay a bit deeper today um, because you're worried about the wind or whatever, the blizzard, then stay a bit deeper. Okay. Uh, if that's the tactical decision you've got to make, make it. Have a fantastic day, have a fantastic weekend, and I will catch up with you soon.